Hey guys, I'm Kadma. Um, this show is basically G Ugh. It's basically going to be about my, my thoughts, me sharing what goes on in my head. So the show is called Kadma because I'm lazy like that, and it's just, that's it. It's just moi. Um, my focus is to bring as much attention towards the platform that I created, which is called the Bitten Apple TV Network. Um, primarily, I named it after the fact that we're all from the Big Apple. Uh, we spent a lot of our time in the tri-state area. You know, we are the Big Apple. and We're taking a bite out of New York City and the rest of the world, and you can do it with us. However, this particular segment is about moi and the, the things that cross my mind. There's a lot of things that cross my mind that most people probably would fear and tremble and run if they knew really what I was thinking. Um, so uh, I want to start off this episode uh, kind of with things that I expect or I'm anticipating for for 2016. Um, we made a lot of progress, like science-wise, especially with, you know, 3D printing and the way how it's been progressing, and oh, which I think is absolutely amazing, because I, I love, like, the science, I love astronomy, uh, I'm constantly looking out for, like, the new, the latest, like, meteor shower that's happening, or if there's an asteroid pass, that's, that's what I'm doing, I'm constantly paying attention to the sky, um, because I think the sky is absolutely beautiful. I, I love it there. Um, it's 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 just like, ah! like that's my excitement. Um, besides anime and um, comic books or whatever crime show I can get a hold of. Because I love watching crime shows. It's kind of my adult version of playing Clue. You know, or I know who killed them. But I want to know how they did it and how I catch them. In my head, I am the detective. Um, as well as the corny sci-fi shows, of course. Like, the mosquito! you know we're like the killer mosquitoes like coming out of nowhere and the people are like ah! like that kind of thing um <laughs> that's my my normal things um uh but again this show is just mostly just to provide a platform uh to draw in viewers towards the bitten apple um so my friends can have fun you know host the segments and host the shows that they want to do um hope you like my backdrop this will follow me everywhere since i am uh, basically a gypsy or a vagabond, if you will. Um, so again, these are things that I'm anticipating for for 2016. My friend sent me a video talking about the robotic kitchen, which is these pair of arms that do the cooking for you, actually chops up the ingredients, knows how to measure, does all these cool, amazing things, and it won't be available until 2018. So I'm two years behind, but that's not the point. The point is that I will save up every penny I have just so I can have this robotic kitchen. I mean, we are two steps in New York City from living like Fifth Element and Demolition Man. Like, we really are, except no simulated sex. I really think that's a terrible idea. Please, scientists, do not do this. Um, uh, so I think the robotic kitchen is absolutely amazing. And, you know, between 3D printing and how it's made so much pro progress, you know, um, I can only imagine, like, how much more progress we're going to make for this year. I mean, I'm, I'm the last generation that got to play around with the rotary dialer, that kind of thing. Um, I'm older than what I actually am, but I look younger. I'm in this weird niche. So I've watched the progress of jumping on, you know, the, the, the kitchen chair to use the rotary dial and get my finger freaking stuck in the damn thing and progressing to seeing what the old cell phones used to look like to seeing what cell phones became to the prepaid phones, having a pager, you know, which my mom loved, did not like it, but whatever. And then you know, progressing into seeing the internet being born, you know, using the BBS boards, and then going from there, you know, back when there was like Netscape and Juno, because I had my own Juno account, forgot the password, but whatever, um, to now being able to have the internet in the palm of my hand, to when I used to have do dial-up, which I do not miss, not the slightest bit, and now we have robotic kitchens that are coming out, I mean, we have so many, so many amazing things that just happened, even just last year alone, so I can only imagine what's coming this year. So I'm like, I'm very excited. Those are things that I'm anticipating for, uh, for this year. Uh, what I'm also anticipating for is for mothers who will stop putting their four to eight year olds in a damn stroller and let them walk. It's just this crazy theory that I have. It might make your child a little too privileged. Um, I know some parents are choosing to do it and that's fine. But to me, it drives me up the wall, especially in New York City. We are a packed, condensed, sardine can city. There is no room for your eight-year-old child to be inside of a stroller. And I'm not making eight-year-old just to sound like funny or whatever. I'm serious. I've seen eight-year-olds in a stroller. And I love, love, love watching parents struggle 
like getting up and down the stairs like oh no can you help me poor little jimmy is too heavy like yeah maybe you should make jimmy walk that's a theory um so i'm hoping this year there'll be less of those because you know on um, the subway you take up a lot of space so i just think you should just be a little considerate for others especially during rush hour um also you know what also um the other thing that i also enjoy is when they're rocking the the five-year-old inside the stroller because they're being too lazy then to make the kid walk and carry their own crap the kids always complaining in the stroller during the winter time like oh mom it's cold like they want to be bundled up and they have like six blankets on them and you know what would really help them warm up if they were using their own legs and walking you know this thing we have called blood when it moves through the body it helps us keep warm just a theory i might have read it on the internet may not have been a book who knows sounds crazy i know um, so that's something I'm looking forward to. Um, I'm also looking forward to more trips um, out to the West Coast. I love my agents. They're fa fabulous. They're so sweet to me. I love you guys. I love you, Big Fish. Um, I'm also looking forward to seeing where Bit and Apple TV takes takes off or what what happens with it. Um, we have people are watching. People are paying attention. Um, so I'm just trying to like get the feel out for what it is uh, um, on where it's gonna go. So this show, the Cadmer show, um, it's just going to be about my random thoughts, uh, mostly. Uh, 2016, I am also looking forward to less pole dancing performers. I'm sorry, I do pole dancing. So when I see you on the train in a tight knit spot and you nearly kick some dude in his face, you should stop. I mean, there are competitions out there. Go to the competitions. You'll make more money there than you probably would for me because I won't give you a buck because I can do the same damn trick, so I'm not going to pay you. You know who I pay? People who do violin. I can't play a violin. Uh, if I hear really good music. But when I hear, what time is it, folks? What time is it? It's showtime! And you guys start doing all the same pole dancing tricks that I can do? Yeah, I'm not going to give you money. Um... And plus, pole dancing is an amazing sport. Go to the competitions. Make money. Become a name. Become like a hip-hop male version of Cleo the Hurricane. Or, you know, or Eloise, which she's fantastic. I love their classes. Um, you know, or like my, my amazing friend, Michaela. Oh, my gosh. She's hot stuff. Um, do something amazing with it. If you can do that, I mean, why settle for a couple of bucks on the train where you can probably just go to a competition and make really good money and get a name for yourself? gotta think outside the box um but yeah those are so far my um hopes and aspirations for 2016 um i'm guessing that's gonna be it for now um i also want to get more books not that i need more um i kind of have my own personal library um i'm pretty sure i could compete with Belle inside of the beast's castle um because i just i have a lot of books i have books in foreign languages that's just who i am i like to read as well as a ton of video games um and i'm looking forward to see if anything cool is going to come out this year movie wise although i did see something about witches that i thought might be kind of wicked to watch um as for me um looking forward to stuff that ahr visions check them out advertisement at ahr visions um there that's my other boss i have many bosses including myself so uh they're putting out a lot of shows um, one of the the comics that they're actually produced that is produced that it will be out actually shortly is with terry cruz we got one with public enemy we have um our first lady of ahr vision which is by scorn i'm in uh dynamic which is kung fu based um which is going to be awesome i'm excited i don't want to say too much about it i'm going to wait till the book comes out where i'm allowed to promote it a little bit more um which I am excited for. Uh, she is based off of me. And then my my, my Kung Fu style is more uh, northern. Because uh, I trained in Eagle Claw. Um, at North Sky Kung Fu. Uh, Shu Fu Dario um, trained me. He, that's my heart. He's really like a father to me. So um, There's that book. There's Black Rose. There's Aya or Aya. I think that's how it's pronounced. Alex is going to kill me for mispronouncing it. There's Rebirth, Bleach 2039. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff um, that's coming out uh, with AHR Visions. But if you want to know more about them, I would definitely look them up. AHR Visions. A as in Apple. H as in Harry. R as in Run. Visions. Um, 
and so far that's it that's that's what i'm looking forward to and um for 2016 so so far more science stuff some awesome sky astronomy stuff uh ahr visions moms not putting their kids who are way too big for the strollers i'm seriously come on my mom has my walking shoes from when i was like a year and a half year a uh, year and a half old i think that i think that was good english um so like seriously guys take your kids out let them walk it's not gonna kill them it, i promise i promise it won't um so yeah um so far and also seeing what bitten apple tv uh where it's gonna go so uh thanks for watching this is the first episode i don't want to make this uh too long and um uh, see you later <laughs>